Hey, this is Presh Shawalker. The Putnam Competition is an annual exam for undergraduate students in the United States and Canada. You have three hours to solve six problems, and then you have another three hours to solve another six problems. So you're taking six hours to solve 12 questions. Now each question is worth 10 points for a maximum of 120 points. The median score is about one point, even though the students taking it are exceptionally good at math. So this is a very difficult competition. This question comes from the 1980 Putnam competition, problem A3. Evaluate the integral from zero to pi over two of dx divided by one plus tangent x to the power of root two. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. There's actually a remarkable trick to solve this problem in seconds. It's known as the King's Rule or King's Property of Definite Integrals. The integral from a to b of f of x divided by f of a plus b minus x plus f of x dx is equal to b minus a over 2. So how does this help us solve this question? So tangent of x is equal to sine of x divided by cosine x. So we can substitute in this integral goes from 0 to pi over 2 of dx divided by 1 plus sine x raised to the power of root 2 divided by cosine x raised to the power of root 2. We can multiply the numerator and denominator by cosine x raised to the power of root 2. So this simplifies to the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine x to the power of root 2 dx divided by cosine x to the power of root 2 plus sine x to the power of root 2. And now we have an integral in exactly the form we want. Let f of x be equal to cosine of x to the power of root 2. Then what is f of a plus b minus x? Now a plus b is equal to 0 plus pi over 2, so that's equal to pi over 2. So f of pi over 2 minus x is equal to cosine of pi over 2 minus x. We want the entire thing raised to the power of root 2. But cosine of pi over 2 minus x is exactly equal to sine of x. So f of pi over 2 minus x is equal to sine of x to the power of root 2. So we can exactly apply King's rule. And this integral is equal to pi over 2 minus 0 divided by 2, which equals pi over 4. And that's the answer. We can even generalize this one step further. There's nothing special about the exponent of root 2. We can substitute this for any real number k, and we're going to get exactly the same result. The integral from 0 to pi over 2 of dx divided by 1 plus tangent x to the power of k is equal to pi over 4. There's an interesting visualization. All of these graphs will have exactly the same area. This is very interesting. So now, to be rigorous, I'm going to present a proof of the formula. So let's say we have the integral from a to b of f of x divided by f of a plus b minus x plus f of x dx. Let this integral be equal to i. We will do a substitution that u is equal to a plus b minus x. Then du is equal to negative dx. As we made a substitution, we also want to check the limits of integration. When x is equal to a, u will be equal to b. And when x is equal to b, u will be equal to a. So we end up with the integral from b to a of f of a plus b minus u divided by f of u plus f of a plus b minus u negative du. Now this integral is also equal to i. Now we can flip the limits of integration and cancel it out with this negative du. So we end up with the integral from a to b and we have a du. In this integral, u is just a placeholder variable so we can change all instances of u with x. So now we have two different forms of the same integral i. So we'll do a trick, we'll add these two integrals together. 
So when we do that, one result will be 2i, the other result will be the integral from a to b of f of x plus f of a plus b minus x over f of x plus a plus b minus x dx. Now we can simplify this. The numerator and denominator are exactly equal to each other, so they will vanish to be equal to 1. So we have the integral of a to b of dx, and that will evaluate just to be b minus a. Dividing both sides by 2, we get that i is equal to b minus a over 2, and that exactly proves the formula. Remember this trick, and you'll be able to solve many integrals very quickly. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.